Hello and welcome to day two of this year's Vlogmas. We've been busy all morning, well it's now just past lunchtime, we were busy all morning uh, building the carcasses, well not the carcasses, building the doors rather, of the new fitted wardrobes for the bedroom. They're not fitted, I'm not doing very well today. <laughs> not fitted, but they are sliding door wardrobes. I've come in the craft room, which is in absolute chaos. This still has John's clothes all over the spare bed. So all that's left is all these boxes with interior stuff for the wardrobe that came with it. Kind of, com it says complimentary stuff, but there's kind of a, a selection of stuff comes with the wardrobes. So I'm going to dig around in these boxes and find the instructions and manuals for the fitting of each of these different bits and pieces. A couple of the bits will have to adapt slightly. For example, um, we end up getting a, technically it's a hallway wardrobe because we have such a narrow space at the foot of our bed. Um, we wouldn't have had enough room to get past the foot of the bed comfortably if we'd got a standard bedroom wardrobe so we got a hallway one which are quite narrow or um, quite shallow rather so the hanging rails are kind of like a framework that go in front to back and the rails hang front to back which is not ideal i don't like that system very well very well very much goodness me words today um but we're working with the space we have but i know the fittings that came with this are just um apologies for the rattling they're just these little plastic holders i'm not sure if it's going to focus um they're just these little plastic things it doesn't want to focus because my face is in short um and because it is quite dark in here no it's not having it but anyway there are these little tiny little plastic pegs and there is no way these are going to be strong enough to hold the weight of all my claws hanging on these rails so john's going to have to either drill through or put some brackets underneath these frames and I think it comes with some pull-out shelves, some fixed metal shelves because they, they are shoe shelves, designed for shoes, um, but we're just going to put clothes on them. So it has some metal shelves, it has some other pull-out shelves on runners, and it has some fitted stationary shelves that you can put wherever you want. So, and there is a drawer. So there's lots of components here and I need to figure out which combination I want them in the wardrobe itself. Obviously I want some space where I have some room for long things like dresses. So I need to work out what's what. I think one wardrobe will probably have the, a longer drop for hangers and the other one shorter for things like blouses and shirts and things. So I'm gonna pull out all these instructions manuals from these boxes and try not to dismantle the boxes too much so all the bits can still stay in and then do a bit of knitting as well this afternoon. I didn't get as much done yesterday as I wanted because I was just so tired last night so I only really got one and a half cuffs done on the socks that needed the cuffs and I didn't even touch my Christmas sweater so I really need to pick up the stitches for that tonight. Oh, this afternoon, ready for tonight. I also wove in ends, but I still have a pair of socks with lots of ends to weave in as well. And uh, yeah, John was John has already gone out to work. He has um, a school swimmers school run to do on a, uh, a Tuesday because it is Tuesday. And um, he was back late as well this morning. His bus slipped off the road. Not badly, but it slipped off the road on the ice. Um, so he'd had to wait for a, another bus to come out so he could take his kids off of his bus onto the minibus to take up to the main road where they brought him out another big bus, loaded the kids onto the big bus and then he did the rest of his school run to pick the rest of the kids up, 
to take them to school. The bus, it didn't go up, he was, he, he was almost stationary and he has to go around this really tight corner, um, which is always a bit of a struggle with the big coaches on this particular corner. He has to swing right over and it, it barely gets round really. Um, but it was so icy this morning that it just, it, as he turned, it just slipped onto the verge. So, um, that was a little excitement for him this morning, but he was a bit hungry by the time he got home. Um, and he's had to go out early today as well, so it's a busy works day for him today. Not sure what I'm going to do for tea tonight yet. The fridge is looking a little bare. Could do with a shopping trip towards the end of the week. But I better crack on opening some of these up. Well, I finished the second cuff on these socks. I'm actually really pleased that I went with a undyed yarn for the cuff because I think they look really nice. I should have brought my sock blockers out so I could put them out properly, but it works really well. I actually used some leftover merino bamboo for these rather than sock yarn because it is just the cuff. And I basically have no idea what I'm going to use the rest of this merino bamboo for. Probably for cuffs but not for heels and toes. I might actually stick a little bit of, well, maybe a label or something on that and write what's on it because it doesn't have a label. It's just a leftover piece of, well, it was a leftover skein of my own hand-dyed, undyed bases from when I was dyeing yarn. Um, so it doesn't have a label, but I could stick a label on it and then it'll remind me. It's because it was in with another project, so I knew where it was. So I didn't get it mixed up with other things. But if I put it in my sock yarn drawer, then if I want white toes, heels and cuffs, I can use sock yarn for the heels, for the toes and the heels, and just use this up on the cuffs. I think I'm going to do that. So I'm going to weigh how much is left and uh, label that. But I wanted to show you some fabric that I bought just before I left to go to Mum's. It arrived, I think, the day I was going. Um, some of it, well, one piece of it is on the area over there, finishing off drying. Um, it's just a big, I think it's three metres of a um, sweatshirt fabric, cotton sweatshirt fabric in navy blue. So it's not very exciting. Um, that is to make a pair of sweatpants for my husband. He... Um, although he's older now and he kind of stoops, his full height is six foot three, so he's quite tall and he has long legs. And whenever I buy him sweatpants, um, he can only really wear them once <laughs> and then they shrink and they end up in my wardrobe because I'm shorter. In fact, there was one pair that I took the pockets out and added the extra fabric onto the bottoms and they were still too short. In fact, after two or three washes, they're too short for me as well. So either I've got to re-lengthen them again or they will be going to the charity shop. That's how much shrinkage was in the fabric. So I've washed that fabric on a 60 degree cycle. Um, so they are, hopefully they won't shrink, the fabric won't shrink any more than it is. And I will make the trousers, the sweatpants, now that the fabric has gone through any potential initial shrinkage. And I will give them a bit of extra length as well when I make them. I have got some ribbing fabric that I bought, so they won't be hanging off on the floor, if you know what I mean. They will sit at his ankle, but if there will be a bit of excess fabric, so that if it does shrink, at least they'll still fit him. But I did buy other fabrics for myself as well. <laughs> I bought a few, one of them did not come out as expected, but we'll talk about the nice ones first. Oh, sorry about the rustling of plastic here. So first, the boring one. I bought a couple of metres, I can't remember how many metres actually, of bottle, well, foresty, bottle green, brushed cotton fabric to make myself a warm, plain green dress. I have a lot of patterned knitwear, like cardigans and such like, and very little to wear them with. So I wanted a plain green dress, ideally I'd like a plain dark beige dress as well, um, so that I can 
put some of my other garments with like things like my nightfall cardigan which has got lots of greens and oranges and colour work and such like in to go over a plain dress I also ordered some fabric to make some festive project bags I know it is December 5th and I haven't even started them because of being away but I bought some really nice fabric in a with uh, robins and holly leaves on because I absolutely love robins. These are European robins. Um, American robins, I think, look different. Um, I know European, European. Oh, we're all out of focus today. European blackbirds and American blackbirds look different, and I think European robins and black American robins look different too. But we have robins and holly leaves and holly berries. So it's really nice and I also bought some gingerbread cookies fabric for the same purpose in a nice uh, kind of a dusky it's not really a light blue it's not really a mid blue somewhere between the two and it has dark brown suddenly it's coming very dark I hope that I wonder if that's a snow cloud let me just adjust my camera just a sn mm, is it better that way? That way, just so the shadow isn't casting. These little gingerbread cookies and little sprigs on it. And I also got some. It's still in the bag. I also just got some plain dark brown poly cotton because this is poly cotton, I think. This is poly cotton and this is a just a plain brown poly cotton as well to go with to go together it looks much darker on the screen than it does in real life it is pretty dark but it is a quite nice match for the cool brown in the biscuits so i got some of that and then the comedy fabric it was not intended to be a comedy fabric so i saw some fabric on sale and it was cotton fabric with glitter, green glittery cotton fabric. I thought that would make a fabulous Christmas dress, you know, a bit festive, you know. And it was it was on it was a good price, it was on sale. I thought I'll get some of that and make myself a Christmas dress. And then it arrived and it most definitely is not going to be clothing. So I ordered I think two metres of this. I think it was two meters. Whoops. I hope it wasn't more. Um, it was two meters, so that's well, good. And it is quite stiff. And it is very, very green. The glittery part is fine, but it is very, very, very green and glittery. Which of itself wouldn't be too big a deal, but it is very stiff. It will stand up on its own. It is cotton, but the glitter coating is so thick that there is no drape to this at all. And it smells like glue. So this will be used for, I don't know what, something else. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I wonder if I washed it, it would soften it up. I very much doubt it. At least the glitter doesn't seem to come off. It isn't coming off on my skin, but I'm not sure what to do with this. Su suggestions would be good because it's not it's not like cardboard stiff, but it is it's pretty stiff. Um, I could maybe use some of it for the bottom of some festive project bags, but I have two meters of this, so that is a lot of crafting. So I'm not sure what to use this one. It really does smell like 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 wallpaper paste like glue um yeah so i'm not sure what i'm going to use this for <laughs> but it won't be the nice christmas frock that i had originally planned so that is my fabrics i w think i'm going to bring my sewing machine downstairs maybe because it is quite cold up there i mean it, it in the summer it's nice and warm upstairs in the hobby room um, this time of year is absolutely freezing. There's only a, one small radiator up there and our radiators don't get 
hot hot and um, you could but you'd have to put a lot of fuel on um to get the radiator it's very very hot um we have such a sprawly old house um it's all on one level other than the two attic rooms it's all on one level and it's spread out long long ways and in random directions it's not like a, a typical house with say two rooms at the front two rooms at the back and, and up and such like uh, everything's very spread out and therefore the heating system is obviously spread out and it loses is going to lose more, more heat consequently um but upstairs heating isn't so much of a priority so it only has a small heat heater up there i do have a halogen up there if i really need it i try not to use it as much as possible but i do have the option um but the the brightness of it tends to give me migraines so i don't use it very often so i might bring my sewing machine downstairs i don't know whether i could maybe set it up in the in my craft room downstairs um because i've got quite a big desk in there that's maybe a possibility especially for the smaller things like project bags so but i need to get a lot of sewing done before christmas because john's sweatpants are i'm making him them for christmas again because we don't want or need for anything so anyway that's my little fabric eat talk i'm going to go and raid the freezer now and find something for tea it might be past a bit hmm <laughs> what time is it? it's it's 20 past three so have plenty of time We'll just have to see. I want to use up some bits and pieces in the freezer um, because there are other things I want to buy for over the Christmas period that need space in the freezer. So I don't know. I'll have to have to see what there is.